I just find it funny how I get labeled as a threat to YouTube and whenever I comment on people's stuff. Yeah, I realize, I see, it calls me a threat. I'm not a threat. Like, dude, come on, I'm a natural, regular fucking human that's an American citizen that loves people, that loves his world, but, you know, stays just in the world, is not of the world. I don't want to be of the world, but I want to be in the world, and I don't want to see the world fade and die. So, why is that 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 makes me a threat? That I care so much for the world, and that I know that there's an evil plan to take over this world because I read a book that tells it, and I can also see it in everyday life. Why? Why am I a threat? I find it really dumb. I find it dumb. You think I'm a threat just because of what I speak about and what I see for the world. You know, I don't want to see agony. I don't want to see pain. I want everybody to be connected with each other and I want everybody to be in harmony. But sadly, that's not going to be what happens in this world because this world does not get to see harmony at its fullest just yet. It's still going to be some time until you get to see the world at a full harmonistic state. And who knows, that might never happen. I know, I know, buddy. We're coming home. All right. Just listen to the rest of this. <laughs> so you know I've thought now really whenever to speak and when not to speak. We are living in a very awkward time. You can believe it. You don't have to believe it. I don't really care what you believe or not. What I see and what I know and what I believe, we are living in a very, very bad time. But it's also a very humbling and great time. Because you know what? It shows me what I've been looking at and what I believe in and what I see. There's a brighter end at this tunnel. You think that this is the the end, right? Well, it is an end in a sense. But it's not it's not the end of the fight. The fight's far from over. It's just now being put out in broad daylight and they don't give a damn. They don't care who sees now. They want us to see it because they think that we're that we're powerless. They think that we can't do anything. Well, I got news for them. You know we can. Like, y'all created technology. Y'all created phones. It's like you knew this was gonna take place, but you wanna see how many people you, know, you can capture. You know you can't capture us all. You can capture part of us. You can capture a lot of us. But those motherfuckers out here, we ain't falling to your bullshit. No, I say they. You know, I could put a name out to whoever they are, but I'm not gonna do that. Because now I gotta do things in a lot of different aspect. Because every time that I talk, I get affected in the spiritual realm aspect of things. Because they want me dead. They do not want me alive because of what I rock for, who I rock for, why I rock it, and who I am. They know that they, they can't really stop me without everybody knowing that they stopped me. Because if I vanish completely, it's not by my own doing. It'll never be by my own hands or by my own intentions. Because my intentions... That's, to me, that is one of the, what I always heard growing up, if you knock yourself off or you, you know, kill yourself, like commit suicide, 
you know, you don't get to reach heaven. You don't get to reach to where you should be because that's not, it's not what, that's not your choice. That's not your destined plan. You took matters into your own hands because you let your mind do that. And my mind has told me so many different things and it has told me to kill myself multiple times by different kinds of ways. I have never fell into it. And by not falling into it, I've grown stronger. I don't know who this message is for. But if this message, if you come across this and you were late, just know you're not alone. We are all in this together. We are all part of this universal connected correlation and responding with each other. And it does not matter about what your skin color is. It doesn't matter what your ethnicity is. It, it, it has nothing to do with that. If you have the same color blood and you have veins and you have a brain and you have a mind and you have a soul and you have a spirit, if you can move your toes, you can wiggle your fingers and do stuff like this, we're all connected. We're all together into this. We can't let the world fade and die. Because there's people out here who want the world to be affected and die. And guess what? The more that they kill of us, the more the world dies. Because guess what? We gather energy from the ground. We also speak life and we speak death. And we speak openness and we speak sheltering with our voice. It's what you use and what you do with your voice is what matters. I'm tired of trying to reach out to these certain people that, you know, I seem like I can't even get a hold of because these mother freakers don't want me out. And I get it. I get it why they don't want me out. They know my heart. They know my intentions. I've spoke it clearly. That's why I used to have black SUVs following me around. 